So today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Pico fan stitch, which is this stitch. Um, once you get going, it is a four row repeat, but we've got a couple of rows to set that up. As you can see, it's it's a very cute lacy stitch. Um, Sarah at the moment is busy working on creating a shawl using this stitch for you for the summer months. Um, and I think it's going to end up being much warmer um, than you would think it would be. So that'll be cool. Um, I'm also looking into doing a market bag with this stitch. So that would be... I think it would make a really pretty market bag um, but as long as you use an appropriate size hook for the yarn that you use and you pretty much the world is your oyster with this with this one so anything you can think of you could use it for um, obviously it would make like a lacy bolero or a cardigan or a wrap or um, a lacy afghan maybe so we'll just get stuck into this so getting started, you need um, a start and chain with a multiple of 12 stitches plus um, 2. So for this sample, I've actually worked 38 stitches, so I'm get, going to get the 3 repeats for you. So once you've got your start and chain worked out and made up, you need to... Um, single crochet in the second chain from your hook so you miss the first one single crochet into the second now as i say i'm um assuming that you guys all know how to do single crochet double crochets and chains so i'm not going to go through that with you then you'll need to chain five skip three stitches three chains and in the fourth chain single crochet and we're going to repeat that all the way along so we're going to chain five skip three and in the next stitch we're going to work a single crochet then we'll chain five skip three and in the fourth we will do a single crochet and that will take you all the way to the end of your starting chain where you'll finish with a single crochet perfectly in the fourth chain which will also be the last one So this is my last chain and I'm single crocheting into that. So you will have a first row that looks like this. So as we build up the rows this will become more structured. So for the second row we need to chain five. Now this is going to count as a single crochet um sorry a double crochet plus a chain two and remember I'm working in US terms so a double crochet is actually a treble crochet in UK terms so let's chain five so that's our double crochet plus two chains in the next chain five space so we're working into the spaces not into the stitches we're going to single crochet in the next chain five space so all the way along we're only working into the chain five spaces in this row we're going to do eight double crochets so one two three Six, seven, 
seven, eight. And then for the next chain five space, we're just going to single crochet into that. And then chain five. And then this is where our repeat starts again. So we'll single crochet into the next row, uh, chain five space. And we'll do eight double crochets into the next chain five space. And then we'll single crochet into the next chain five space and we will chain five and single crochet into the next chain five space and then we'll do eight double crochets in the next space until we have one chain five space left. So your penultimate chain five space will be eight double crochets. I've only got seven there, good job I looked. And then in the next chain five space, your last chain five space, we'll end the row with a single crochet a chain two and a double crochet into the single crochet that started the previous row. So looking at this one, the repeat for this is single crochet, eight double crochets in the next one, single crochet in the next and chain five and that's your repeat all the way along once you get to the end of the row, you will have your um, double crochet eight, eight double crochets in the penultimate chain five space. In the last chain five space, just single crochet, chain two and double crochet into that, um, the top of your single crochet from the row below. Okay. So this is how the repeats will look, your row will look once you've finished round three. So you'll have three chain five spaces between each of your eight double crochet fans. Okay, so let's start with the next row which is row three. So we're going to chain one to start this row and we're going to single crochet into this very first stitch and then we're going to skip the chain two and the single crochet and we're going to work a pico into the next seven stitches. So the first seven double crochets of the fan, how we do this is we're going to work a double crochet into each of them. So you work your double crochet, chain three and then you slip stitch into the top of the double crochet that you've just made. And we're going to repeat that seven times. So into the top of the next double crochet, we'll work a double crochet. We'll chain three. And then we'll slip stitch into the top of the double crochet that we've just made. Double crochet. 
chain three and slip stitch onto the top of the double crochet that we've just made. So there's three that I've got now and we do that for a total of seven times and we'll be left with one double crochet at the end of the fan. So we've got our seven pico stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to double crochet into that last double crochet from the fan. And then what we need to do is single crochet into this next chain five space. and then we'll repeat the process again. So we'll double crochet into the top of the first double crochet of the next fan, chain three and slip stitch into the top of the double crochet that we've just made to make that pico. So just show you that again so we'll be double crocheting into the top of the next double crochet from the previous row then we'll chain three and we'll slip stitch into the top of the double crochet that we've just made and repeat that for a total of seven times until we've got one double crochet left at the end of our fan stitch. So there we have seven pico stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to double crochet just into the top of that last double crochet from the previous row. And then we'll single crochet into the chain five space. And into the next fan or eight double crochets from the previous row we're going to do our pico stitches so we'll double crochet on the top of the first double crochet chain three slip stitch into the top of that chain three and repeat that for a total of seven stitches
and then in that last double crochet from the previous row we're just going to double crochet and you repeat that process all the way around the row until you get to your last chain two and double crochet from the previous row so then when we get to the last chain five space we're going to skip the the chain two and single crochet into the top of the double crochet that started that row and then we'll turn our work so this is now what your work will look like and you can see we're getting those beautiful fans and picots coming through so for the next row we need to chain eight now this is going to count as one double crochet plus a chain five so one two three four five six seven eight then we're going to skip the next two picots and we're going to do one single crochet in the next picot so we're literally going to go right through the middle of that picot and single crochet and then we're going to chain five and we're going to skip one picot which is the one in the middle and we're going to single crochet into the top of the next picot so we are literally going through the middle of the chain three which created that picot stitch then we're going to chain five and we're going to skip those two picots at the end and we're going to do a double crochet into the single crochet from the previous row so the single crochet that's pulling up that chain five space we're just going to do a double crochet into and that is our repeat we're going to go all the way along so then we'll chain five we'll skip the first two picot stitches and single crochet into the next one and then we'll chain five and we'll skip the middle picot and we'll single crochet into the next one and then we'll chain five and we'll miss the next two picots and we double crochet into that single crochet from the previous row so you can kind of see how this repeat works out So we, we have our chain fives, we skip the first two picots of each fan, single crochet into the third one, chain five, skip the middle picot and single crochet into the fifth, chain five and skip the last two picots and single crochet into the top of that single crochet from the previous row. and we do that all the way along so skip the next two
and we'll end with a double crochet into the single crochet that started the previous round row sorry so this is what your row four looks like so then for round row five we'll turn our work chain five which counts as a double crochet and a chain two single crochet into the next chain five space eight double crochets into the next chain five space which will be right on top of the last pico fan And then we're going to single crochet into the next chain five space and we will chain five and we will miss that double crochet between the fans that we did in the last row and we will single crochet into the top of the next um sorry into the next chain five space and then we'll do eight double crochets into the next chain five space which is the um, the one in the middle of the fan from below and then we'll single crochet in the next one chain five single crochet into the next one and do eight double crochets into the chain five space at the top of the next fan and you repeat that all the way along to the end So then when you get to the end, your last chain space, which was the chain 8, which is a double crochet and a chain 5, single crochet into the um, chain 5 space and then work a double crochet into the third chain, which acted as your double, the top of your double crochet on the previous row. And then from this point, we're repeating rows. So if I come out a little bit for you, you can see that this is what it's looking like now. So then we need to repeat rows three to five. So we're going to repeat the pico row. We're going to repeat this row that creates the, um, the arches in the chain fives. And we're going to repeat this row which creates the base of our fan stitch so just to quickly recap those three rows which are the only rows you now repeat we're going to chain one we're going to do a single crochet in that first stitch and then in the top of the first double crochet from the previous round we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to chain three and slip stitch to the top of the double crochet that we just made. And we'll repeat that until you have a total of seven picots. Across that one fan. And you'll have one stitch remaining on the end of that particular fan.
a little bit closer for you. So then in that last double crochet of your cluster of eight from the row below, you just want to do a double crochet. And then single crochet into that chain five space and repeat the process. So the top of the, the first slot of the next set of eight double crochets, you start your picot stitches. So double crochet, chain three, slip stitch to the top of the double crochet you've just made seven times. And then in the last stitch of that particular set of eight double crochets, you just double crochet into it. So that at the end of that row we have seven picots on the top of each fan and a single crochet in each chain five space that separates them. So then the next row is a repeat of round four, row four sorry. So we need to chain eight which if you remember counts as our double crochet plus um, chain five and then what we need to do is skip the first two picots and single crochet into the top of the next picot, the third one so we're literally inserting our hook through the middle of the chain three that created that little um, bobbly bit at the top of our stitches. And then we'll chain five and we'll miss the next picot stitch and we'll single crochet into the top of the next or into the next picot. And then we'll chain five and then remember in this single crochet from the, that was worked into the chain five space on the row below, we're just going to do a double crochet. Sorry, I got myself in a knot with that. into that and then we'll chain five skip the next two picots and single crochet through the middle of the next one chain five skip the next picot and single crochet into the top of the next one. So basically we're single crocheting into the top of the third and the fifth picot of each seven picot set. And then we'll chain five and single crochet into the, uh, sorry, double crochet into the top of the single crochet from the previous row. Chain five and single crochet into the top of the third picot, chain five and single crochet into the top of the fifth picot of that set, chain five and double crochet into the top of the single crochet from the previous row. Now you'll do that all the way along 
and you will end up with a double crochet in the top of that very last stitch which was a single crochet. And for the last part of this repeat of this pattern we need to turn our work, chain 5. So that counts as one double crochet and two chains. Then we single crochet into the next chain 5 space. So we're working into the space, not the chains, remember. And then we need to do eight double crochets into the next chain 5 space, which will be the top of the peak. Um, of the fan from the previous row. So one, three, And then we'll do one single crochet in the next, chain 5 space, we'll chain 5 over the top of that double crochet from the previous row and we'll single crochet into the next chain 5 space and then we'll do 8 double crochets in the top or into that next chain 5 space which is the top of the fan from the previous um, repeat. And then we'll single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 5, and single crochet in the next chain 5 space and then we'll do 8 double crochets into the next chain 5 space And then we'll chain five and we single crochet into the top of uh, the third chain into the top of the double crochet that started the previous row which is the third chain and that is all there is to that stitch so you would just repeat those three rows the pico row and the following two rows and as you can see it turns out really rather pretty so I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, if you have, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click that little bell icon to be notified of all of the, um, the videos that we update as we go along this year. We are planning on doing at least one per week. So hopefully there'll be something there that you will enjoy. Um, and we'd love to see you. Don't forget we do have a Facebook group. Um, Sunflower Cottage Crochet Community and if you go to our blog sunflowercottagecrochet.com you can also sign up for our newsletters. Thanks very much for joining me today. Speak to you soon.